so this is my setup and uh, that over there is the thing that I want to paint you see everything looks very bleached out because the sun is like in the middle sky and uh, everything blues all of it I don't know, there is something here that I think could make a decent painting so let me give it a try anyway I want to paint uh, too long from now to the golden hour so let me see what I can do here Very good, how are you doing? I'm well, thanks for asking. Sir, do you need a map or anything today? No, it's fine, thank uh, you. Thank you. I started uh, seeing, seeing a video of this girl uh, that I, I like the way she painted a lot. Her name is uh, uh, Jacqueline the Murphy. I don't know if I pronounce it that well in English. Uh, but I have been following her for a while now and uh, I was uh, you know, listening to a podcast that she did with the Bear magazine and she was uh, you know talking about why she does a Bear painting and why it's so important and when she was talking I I felt so identified with what she, what she was saying because that's exactly the same experience I have with it and uh, I think it's most it's the same experience uh, for most of the player painters uh, I realized when I start uh, making player painting that I didn't know uh, how to paint, that I didn't know how to really uh, look at the world. Because in this era that we live, probably the first thing uh, people do, wow, big elevator. The first thing people do is, uh, you know, start painting at home. Uh, because player painting is something that if you don't have somebody that uh, something uh, normally get after, normally get after you start painting, and uh, it's better if it uh, you know get to you you know earlier than later because uh, it's like a bit speed in the in the, in the process of uh, an artist uh, to to learn how to paint. It's, a, it's like a bit uh, boost uh, to the career because. Uh, one second, let me look at this alligator because it's very big. And uh, I know this alligator, I already made a painting in the studio from this guy. Um, I, I think it was like a year or a couple of years ago. I guess it's the same one because because this is the water the water hole that he get when the when the dry season get here. So let me check. Look at this guy. Care at all. I think it's probably like my my size. I think it's like no, he has to be bigger because the tail is very big. It's very long, but uh, I think it's like probably like seven foot. He lives in this water hole. I make a painting of this guy like a, like a year ago. And every time that the, the dry season comes here, he stay in this hole. Sometimes you see feathers and stuff around the hole because eat whatever get close to, to here. <coughs> so the thing is that the when you start making player paintings, when you start looking at the, uh, really how the world look, how everything looks. When you start in the studio to paint, because uh, you want to learn how to paint, most likely you want to start uh, taking as a reference like a photo. And uh, that's what made uh, the artists of the past so good, because they didn't have that at that time. So they were not getting confused uh, by, a, by a photo uh, that represent uh, that uh, 
it doesn't represent the photo doesn't represent the, the actual uh, world. To me, it's one of the bit uh, different between the artists of today and the artists of the past. And uh, we get confused by photos. Photos. And then the one thing that I realize is that uh, when I doing a planar painting. Sometimes I see that the time, maybe the, the lighting condition is changing. Find the, the time is running out, I, I cannot keep painting for any reason. And uh, what I do, I take a photo of the scene that I'm painting. Or, or maybe the light looked very nice at one point. And I don't want to lose that, so I take a photo of that moment and keep developing the, the painting. And then the, when I go back to the studio, I get that photograph and I tweak it to to make it good, you know, look the real the way uh, the scene, uh, you know, was looking at that time. And uh, what I realize is realize is that it doesn't matter, you know, with the right exposure and everything, it doesn't matter what I do. The photo that you think is good is completely is completely you know with a lack of colors that they were there because I was looking at them and I got the proof in my painting because the colors that I, they were there I was I was putting in my canvas. But anyway uh, the thing the, the what I'm trying to say is that the, when you do the painter paintings is what uh, and you do that thing that you get the photos and, and then you get the painting home and you compare it with a photo to try to enhance the, the painting. It is when you realize that uh, there is a bit uh, distance, a big gap between a photo and, and a planar painting. That's the reason they look so amazing. The planar paintings when somebody do it, uh, that know what it, what it's doing. Somebody that is have been doing that for a while. Uh, it is good that it what can't accomplish is uh, a level of lightness that you cannot accomplish with uh, with a photograph. Hello, how are you doing? Very good, that's fantastic. Well, I'm trying, man, trying, but <laughs> I don't think it's there yet. That's <laughs> good, <laughs> looks good. Well, I think as long as you're happy with it. Yeah, that's the thing, yeah. Um, as long as you have fun, right? Yeah. No, I'm not happy at all yet. Ah. Maybe later. <laughs> but, you know, I know it's not going to be something amazing because at this time, the song bleach everything. You know, it's too high in the sky. Yeah. It's better like a, in the afternoon. Yeah. How but long have you been painting that one? This one? Uh, I've been here probably like one hour okay. and a half. That's good. Yeah, player paintings. That's the name of this, you know, player painting? Yeah. It's just on her side. Sometimes they come very good because you can get the, exactly how the light looks. Yeah. If you take a photograph of that, it'll be difficult to like see those colors there you see in the water there is like red yes in the photograph you lose all that and as the sun moves it changes as well like uh, yeah you catch you like uh, yeah you incorporate things that you like and i'll stand over here then. yeah I'll pencil me in <laughs> <laughs> we're on to the next trail yeah, we'll okay well have fun man Oh! <gasps>
Thank you very much.